Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel where we talk about everything that I want to talk about in science and math. And today we're going to talk about biology, and we're going to talk about drugs. Yes, we are. <laughs> Both uh, legal and illegal. Um, so, drugs and behavior. So, why are there drugs? Well, drugs are medicine, and you know, medicine is good. We can use medicine to treat illnesses and things like that, but then sometimes people will use drugs for things that they were not intended, and that's when you end up with problems. So, um, this is sort of a short chapter, but I'm going to and this will probably be a short video, but I'm going to leave time for you to do maybe some research on your own. Maybe your mom or dad would like for you to um, do some sort of project and learn more because drugs is um, illegal drugs and drug abuse is a huge problem in our society. Right now, we, we, this is during COVID. You might be watching this video years later because... I'm not going to take them down. I'm just going to leave them up so they can help anybody who wants to watch them. But um, uh, during this COVID time, um, people are have lockdowns where they've been sent home, whatever they call it. But people aren't allowed to leave their houses. They can't go to work. They can't go to church. They can't go to the ball game. All of those things are kind of closed right now. And um, one of the unintended side effects that's really bad is that drug and alcohol abuse is way up and overdoses are way up. Um, lots more overdoses than what we, normally some people take too much drugs and overdose but right now we have way more. So it's a terrible situation that's going on right now and maybe this might with this chapter being a little bit shorter and less in it, um, you might want to take some time to do some more studying on your own and learn more about this and learn more about the problem and, and maybe some preventions and things like that. So I, I'm going to give y'all you time to do that. So you, you won't have too much this week. Now, so what is a drug? A drug is a chemical that changes the way a living thing functions is the definition the book gives. It can be used for the treatment cure or prevention of disease. Um, uh, some, um, some drugs can have side effects that could be harmful, so that's something also. What is wrong with you and your disease is called the symptoms. Some drugs can help get rid of the disease. Other drugs help get rid of the symptoms. So, um, you know, different drugs work different ways. In, um, there's a lot, I mean, you can get a whole college degree in this. You can get, a lot of people go and get an undergraduate degree in chemistry, and then they go to graduate school and become pharmacists. You can be a doctor and learn a lot about drugs where you're the one prescribing it. You can be the pharmacist filling it, um, the prescriptions. So there's way more than we're going to talk about here. All we're going to talk about here is just, just scratch the surface, and then if you want to, you can do more research on it. All right, and um, it's a good career. I had one of my best friends in high school. Her mom was a pharmacist. I got some crazy hair there. Her mom was a pharmacist who worked at a hospital on just the weekends. So she worked overnight at a hospital pharmacy just on the weekends. So she worked like two nights a week and made enough money to support her family because her husband was disabled and could not work. And she made plenty of money just working two nights a week. That sounds like a good job to me. <laughs> they had plenty of time to do other fun things like ride Harleys. My friend's uh, mom liked to ride her Harley. She was a motorcycle chick. Um, so anyway, so there are legal and illegal drugs. Now there are some drugs that are called controlled substances, which means things like marijuana, cocaine, and tranquilizers are controlled drugs. You can't just get them. And a lot of times people will take controlled drugs illegally for recreational use, and it's just not a good thing to do. Um, it's not good to your body, and you can end up with addictions and um, messing up relationships, jobs, everything like that. So ter terrible, terrible consequences. Now, now there are, for legal drugs, you can either have over-the-counter drugs, which you just go and buy. You don't have to have a prescription for. So that would be like Advil. It's a drug. 
You don't have to have a prescription for it. Or it could be one that you have to have a prescription for, and then your doctor has to write you the prescription, and you take it to the drugstore, and the drugs, they call them the chemist in England, or the druggist here, will fill, the pharmacist will fill your prescription, and you get it. And sometimes you pay for it, and sometimes your insurance will pay for it. So um, that's how that works. Now you should read the drug labels. It's good to know what you're taking. Read those side effects and decide is it worth it. A lot of drugs now, that we, we've come so far in chemistry that we have drugs that can you know treat all kinds of stuff. But sometimes it's just not worth it. Like um, it's, a, it's a drug that might make you have thicker hair, but it gives you nonstop diarrhea. Hmm, not worth it. Don't want non-stop diarrhea, would rather have less thick hair. So read those side effects, read to see you know, what this is gonna do. Also, you have to be really careful about drug interactions. These chemicals can react with each other. So you have to be sure to tell your doctor what else you're taking so that they can check and make sure these chemicals won't react in you and end up causing unwanted things. Um, there's a lab in your book about finding what other drugs have aspirin in them. Um, you're not going to have the chemicals to do that lab. <laughs> All you can do is read some labels if you want to see. Now, what is an overdose? An overdose is when there is too much drug and it overwhelms your system and it can cause death and other, other you know, bad things. Um, uh, I have, a, there's a lady I know, a lady, a man is, and wife who were in my Sunday school class at church, and he was a um, funeral home director, and he was and he was just sad because every week there were young people who he was having to do the funeral for because of drug overdoses. So sad that you know these young healthy people with wonderful possible futures are throwing it all away on drugs. Just terrible. All right. Um, so now, different kinds of drugs. You can have stimulants that speed everything up, or you can have depressants that slow them down, or psychedelics that really change the um, stimulant input. Um, Mind-altering drugs. Um, if you're using them illegally, they're all bad. Um, some common over-the-counter drugs are antihistamines. Um, these are things that you would be f against allergies and um, cough suppressants can help you not cough. Antacids, if you have a uh, sour stomach, heartburn, those are helpful. But even those, you don't want to take too many, you end up with side effects. Um, uh, so drugs can be misused. There are ones that are very bad, like cocaine. People get addicted to that. One of um, my favorite comedians I just saw just checked into rehab for cocaine addiction. So sad, so sad. Um, caffeine and nicotine are legal drugs that lots of people, and alcohol are legal drugs that a lot of people um, choose to use. Uh, nicotine with people smoking or vaping. Um, caffeine with coffee and Coke and even chocolate has caffeine in it. And alcohol, uh, talk about chocolate and caffeine. There is this really good pie recipe that I just love. It's this chocolate pie. But if I eat it like after five o'clock, I will be wide awake trying to figure out why I'm so awake with the, um, and it's that pie doing it to me. And then alcohol is a depressant. It, it, but um, I don't drink alcohol, but some people choose to. Um, and even that you can become addicted to and it can ruin your life. So watch out for drugs, legal and illegal. Watch out for them. Try to be a drug-free kid. All right. So this should not take you too much time this week, but I'm going to leave time for you to do more research and maybe for your parents to maybe um, assign some more things for you to learn about drugs because it's a very important topic, drugs and alcohol. All right, so science is great, math is great, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later.